Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to um, Beat Ministries. We're reading the Christ letters. Um, so this is letter 3A. We're reading letter 3A. And um, this is part three of letter 3A. Um, in this series, I noticed Christ is emphasizing the importance to get rid of um, our religious differences. Um, listen, what, what he said that really resonates in my spirit is that we all are worshiping the source of our being, but we're just calling the source of our being different names. So don't let religion um, divide us, divide us at a time like this. Listen, if you find this ministry, I always say you are one of the chosen at this time, my gosh, we, we please pray, see. And so you can see the time we're living in. We're living in in a time that's this dispensation, dispensation. Please, if you've listen, been listening to me, I am calling, please know who you are. Know self, know thyself, know thyself. And in knowing yourself, you raise your consciousness, you raise your vibration. When your consciousness, your awareness, that means if you know yourself, you know that you're spiritual beings, you know that you're all energy vibrating at a certain frequency. You know that somehow uh, we were sent here for a purpose. Um, some people say a school, some people maybe to help this earth, one of the chosen, maybe you were one of the chosen who, who came to help this um, earth vibrate, vibrate, increase their, when you increase your consciousness, not just you, your consciousness is increasing, but the earth's consciousness is increasing. And that is so important. That is so important. I I wa I watched this movie the day the earth stood still. And somehow um I heard because I heard it in my meditation this morning. And listen, the when the people came to earth, they didn't come to help the people, they came to help the earth. They came to help the earth ascend. You know, the we call them aliens, people from another Another con another world came to so this world is very this earth is very important. And in the movie, he says, um, this earth is the only is one of the few who can sustain different lifestyles. So this earth is gonna rise, and we have to rise with this earth. We have to rise with this earth. This earth is a living being just like we are. And I don't have to tell you what's what will happen if you don't rise, raise your vibration and your frequency and your consciousness. Your vib let me put vibrational energy. Raise your vibrational energy. But that's when you love. That's when um, you get rid of negativity. You get rid of fear. You know where your help comes from. You look to, because when you become conscious, you understand that you, the, your true self, your Christ self, that's what's, that's the, 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 the Bible says, sitting at the right side of God, interceding on our behalf. That's your true self. You depend on the direction of your, your Christ self. You depend on the direction of your true self, your God self. This is where we're at. And if this message find you, please raise your consciousness, raise your vibration, send me a comment, send me a message, email me. My email is on, on all of my platforms. Email me. Let me, if you need help, let me know that you've seen this message and you need help to understand how to raise your vibration and your consciousness. Read the Christ letters. That's why Christ came. That's why Christ came. I don't know how um, that was hidden out of everything they told us about Christ. 
he said two things mainly he said he came that we understand the laws of existence and what i'm saying to you those are the laws of ex existence everything is vibration everything vibrates at a certain energy at a certain frequency the law of polarity, the law of vibration, the law of mentalism, the law of karma, I saw one recently. These are the law that governs this realm. That's why he came, so we can understand who we are. That's a part of my teaching. So if you're hearing this message today, you'll be like, oh, this is new. That's part of what Christ came to teach us about. And when you start doing your study, you have to understand that nothing, as the Bible said, we know in part and we prophesy in part. And that goes for some aspect of the Bible. Nothing is 100%. Nothing is 100%. Somehow, um, I don't know if the disciples understood it, um, and, and that's what the Gnostics were about. And they they came out of John, John the Baptist as, aspect. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of the disciples were teaching, teaching consciousness and, and what you hear me talking and energy and vibration. All right. So, all right. So we're going to continue tonight. Please, we're living. Uh, mm, there's just going to be a pouring out. There's just going to be a pouring out. Be ready, be ready. And what I'm saying, it's not if, it's when everyone is going to come to the knowledge of all this. Everyone's coming to the knowledge of all this. Where um, The revelation, if you hear this message, go on my channel, Deep Ministry, and, uh, uh, and see what it means about the last days. See what it means when the Bible talks about the last days. That's where we are now. I know some people are going to be like, oh, we, I've been hearing that ever since I was growing up. This is it, everybody. This is it. And it's nothing to be scared of. It's nothing to be scared of. Just If you love this world, it's all a choice. If you like the way things are going, if you be like, Father, this I love the world. I'm, I'm comfortable and whatever. But... That's not a choice to stay on this earth. You probably have to go to a different a different planet because this you can't if you love this world and you wanna and you love all things going, you can't be on this earth. You can't because you're vibrating too low. You have to raise your consciousness. You're gonna have to pass on and go to a different world, a different realm. All right, and your energy, energy does not die, and this is where we are. All right, so we're going to continue our reading today. So we're going to continue the Christ letters. We're on letter 3A. We're on letter 3A. Ah. So, where am I? Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, so this is where we're at right now. This is where we're at. So I didn't get to read ahead this time. 
So I'm just going to read as I'm reading. I'll highlight. It says, if you catch a drop of rain in the palm of your hands. Oh, I think I read this a bit last week. I read that last week. All right, but okay. All right, let me read this. Maybe I didn't highlight it, but okay, let me read it then. And this was Christ talking about um that he and Muhammad are the same person. And he says they're not the same person, but they came from the same father. They were brothers. They're brothers, so it doesn't necessarily mean that you should criticize anyone because they are brothers. It says, if you catch a drop of rain in the palm of your hand, can you say that because the droplet of rain has landed in your hand and because it has separated from the rain that is falling to the ground, that the droplet is different in being, chemical composition and quality of purity of strength from the rest of the rain presently falling around you. You can touch your droplet with green dye and make it green. You can say that that green droplet is entirely, is entirely different to the rest of the rain falling at that very moment. You of good sense, good will and good heart, sincere and true, will be able to reply, no, the rain is not different. It is exactly the same in quality and being as the rest of the rain. The only difference is that green or red or blue dye has been added. Therefore, it has become something more than rain falling around us. But the droplet of rain in the palm of my hands is basically the same as the rain. So if you know Christ, Christ is always talking in parables. So he's just telling us that we're not different. No matter if we if we um if we if we're Muslims or Jews or Christian, we're not different. If we're black, if we're white, we're not different. It's just because we have a, we put on a different dye, we have a different color. That's the only reason why we look different, but in our being of being, we are the same. He says, every one of you, no matter who you are, what color skin you have, you may possess, what kind of ear adorns your head and protects it from the sun, the shape of your head or body, the language you speak, the thoughts you think, the kind of words you use, the action and deeds you perform as a result of your beliefs and your thoughts, no matter what your physical and human consciousness. So, no matter what your physical and human consciousness differences, you are all exactly the same as each other, of the same quality, begotten of the same source of being, having the same potential in infinity, the same spiritual capacities in infinity in every respect. The only difference between every one of you, Muslim, Arab, Russian Jew, American Christian, Tibetan, Tibetan, Buddhist, Indian, Hindu are the additives that are being pumped into each of you as a result of your genetics derived from your parentage or race, environment, family upbringing, family resources, poor or wealthy, education and opportunities in life. Yep. We are not different. We come from the same source. That's what Christ's trying to tell you. Tell us. We come from the same source of being. The only difference is our culture. We were raised in different environments. 
depends on the region of the world or who your parents worship. That's how that's how we come to worship. So these are differences that um we should let divide us. And it's very important to know this because those are the things that that hinder us. The the things we we use to separate us, those are the things that hinder us from vibrating at a certain frequency. And instead of vibrating, you could say ascending. These are the things that hinder us from being from going closer to to that source of being. By division, we think our religion is better than the others, and and that's another divisiveness that mm -hmm. we gotta raise our energy. Hey sis, how are you? I'm good. But these are all superficials. They are additives mark masking your reality. You call your soul even as die will mask the truth concerning the drop of water in the palm of your hand. Let me read that again. He said, but these are all superficials. They are additives masking your reality. You call your soul even as die will mask the truth concerning the drop of water in, play, in the palm of your hand. Your soul comes directly from divine consciousness and remains itself pristine and pure and unified in divine consciousness with all other souls, despite all the additives which have covered and corroded it since birth. And this is another thing that church doesn't talk about. What is your soul? You know, well, I remember thinking about this in church, like what we're talking about your soul. Yeah, you, you know what Christ talk about what our soul is. Um, he says your soul comes directly from divine consciousness. Your soul comes from divine consciousness and remains itself pristine and pure and unified in divine consciousness with all other souls. So in spite of um what we oh the the skin, this flesh that we're have, we, we we're wearing, in spite of this um flesh we're wearing in spite of um the things we do the things we do that you look at a person and say oh he's he's a wicked person he's a bad person even that doesn't doesn't touch your soul that doesn't touch your soul that's just the 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 outer form of who you are in the physical because your soul lives forever Despite all the additives which have covered and corroded it since birth, it tells you your your soul is still pristine and with that divine consciousness. I think the best way to um explain your soul, this guy says, um, imagine that God is the lake of water out there. That's God. And you go out there and take up a cup out of the lake of water and call it spirit. You take up that, a cup out of that lake of water, out of that great God, and you call it spirit. And then you put dye on that same cup of water that you took from the God sea out there. You put a dye on it and call it soul. So it's still coming from that source, that divine consciousness. That's all. That's what your soul is. It's the, it's the part that that connects you to God. That's the part that's talking to your soul. Is that the part they call your higher self? That's the part they call call your Christ self. That's the part that's speaking us to um to us daily. That's the part that we have to 
uh, be able to listen to that voice because that that aspect of us that that came from the source that came from our father is still there is still untouchable it's still pure in spite of what we do in this physical mm. and the goal is for us to become one with that soul that's that's the goal so we call so what happened to us in this realm we think we're the flesh we don't think we're the soul mm -hmm. that's that's the problem sis and that's what i'm telling they're gonna be we have to understand this we uh, there's gonna be a pouring out and listen i mentioned before i listened and i mentioned before that um i mentioned before that this earth is rising and if we can't rise with the earth how we rise with the earth the earth you have to understand who you are you have to vibrate at a certain frequency you have to become conscious and when you become conscious, you understand this, right? What I'm saying, that you're not this body. And that's what's, um, that's what hold, what's holding us back. We are that soul. We are that soul. We are that soul. The true us, the who we truly are is that divine soul that's still with that divine father. And we have to, we have to, it doesn't matter how much we pray, if we don't get this, if we don't understand this, there's not going to be any more earth. There's still, no, there is going to be earth, but earth not going to take, you have to grow, you have to be at that place to be on earth. Or so you're just gonna pass on and go to some go somewhere else to learn this same lesson. <laughs> to learn this same lesson. But we'll all get a chance to learn. And if you come across this message and you hear it right here tonight, when that dispensation, when that pouring out. Because not, God's not going to destroy anyone because that spirit's going to, is going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And when you feel that presence, you're going to be like, oh, this is what the ministry was talking about. That spirit, we talk, we think when we go to church, we think when we go to church and get filled with the Holy Ghost, that's, that's that spirit. No. That spirit from heaven, that's that 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 you're gonna feel your true self. You can't resist it, and your soul gonna be like, all right, you're not ready yet. And you can pass on and go to another universe. You pass on and go to a new universe until you understand it. Or you can accept it. Christ called it a receptive mind. You can have a receptive mind and be like, oh, okay. Oh, this feels good. This is what the ministry was saying. Or this is what the Christ letter was talking about. Our soul is our true self. We're not this flesh. When the soul come into this body, this the when come one, unite. That's that marriage Solomon talk about. Hello. Hello, baby. What did you say, sis? No, no, it's not you. It's not you, honey. Oh, okay. That's good. Right. No. I, mean, I like this in green. So we could understand. But it's just giving us that idea. 
that our true self, our real self, is our soul. That is our soul, our true self. Your souls mm -hmm. come from the divine consciousness mm -hmm. and remains itself. Never dies. And pure mm -hmm. and unified in divine consciousness with mm. all other souls, despite all the additives, despite the, our religion, despite our, our the color of our skin, despite our sexuality, this, the, 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 in spite of that we're rich or we're pure, our soul still re remain pristine and unified in divine consciousness. Divine consciousness is the same word for our father, our creator. And it says, despite the additives which have covered and corroded it since birth. You must, real, you must also realize that everyone is born with differing human capacities to make use of the additives pump, pumped into them at birth. Human capacities to be utilized by each soul depend on the spiritual progress, spiritual progress it made in previous lives. Tonight's going to be a deep, 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 deep ministry. We're going to touch on some things that we people don't like to talk about so tonight is deep deep ministry it says you must also realize that everyone is born with differing human capacities to make use of the additives pumped into them at birth and he calls additives uh we probably call it our culture we, we were born with the capacities um, to make use of what um, what we're gonna face the, the home we're gonna we're gonna be, be born into the um, the place the culture the religion it's a, a, a meticulous effort when we come into this earth it's not just the physical intercourse between our parents. I think I played a video before that the kids said we choose our parents. And we can't, and in spite, and this to show you that in spite of what we go through with our parents, that's how important it is to forgive, to grow up and forgive. Because they probably been through it, you probably do it. You have to, you, you just stop the cycle and forgive. You know? So we're born with the capacity to overcome whatever we're going to go through when we came into the world, into this world. Depends because of our, um, the progress that's made in our previous lives. So if you're here and we talk about reincarnation and you don't believe in reincarnation, this is what Christ is saying. This is what Christ is saying here. But because of our previous lives, because of what we've been through in our previous lives, you're probably like, oh, I don't remember any previous lives. But my sisters and my brothers, everything is in our DNA. We all know everything that we've been through you, you, we're probably a thousand years. We're probably a, a thousand year old. We're probably 10,000 years old. You look at yourself, I'm just 40, 40, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000. I'm not sure if necessarily on this earth, this earth is old. This earth is old. And that's why the last days, um, the last days, um, we're in the last days because this earth be like, I am tired of being in this three-dimensional world. I'm going to rise and be in the 5D world. 
And if you want to be there with her, you've got to raise your vibration and your frequency. All right. Well, Christ telling us. So when we come into this earth, when we were born into the earth, we can't, we came with the capacity to overcome everything that we're going to be, be going through based on our past lives. Based on our past lives. Um, yeah, we don't remember what we've been through, but there's we come with a team. I just talk about our soul, our higher self. We come with a team. We come with our higher self. We come with our guides. We come with our father. We come with a team. So, but the 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 test is for us to break out of this um this world and listen to our guides, listen to our father, listen to our higher self, the aspect of us that is still with our father. We could have this uh this Wake thing up. we were taught yeah. from a child growing up. Say that again, sir. Wake up of these things that we were taught. When we were oh, we know. Yes. Because the Bible said this. we were born in yeah. sin and shaping in equity. We need to look after these things now. We were raised we to believe. We have to, to because sis, in the end, everything is spiritual. Yes, yeah, it's spiritual. It's spirit. Scientific. <laughs> Uh, and and it's gonna for this earth is gonna force us right. to wake up. It's that's gonna force right. us to wake up. Yes. You say a tree, a tree, you chop down a tree and a tree, it dies. And now you look at the tree, the tree started to grow back again. And it, wait, didn't I chop down this tree the whole time? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So let go of all this, you know, we're taught and just uh yeah. all that, what's new coming. Yes, and listen to your, your higher self. Listen to your guides. Yes. We came with our, our, our team. Yes. I, I, I did a video um just like how you see that entourage, these um success like let's use Oprah. Oprah mm -hmm. has this hairdresser, Oprah have this yes. and people who it's just listen, yes. as above so below, that's yes. a law of the universe. It's yes. the same yes. way in the spiritual realm. Yes. It's the we same. Our, our, we came to this earth with a team. It's time yes. to listen to our team. Yes. Ask them question. Ask them. You all if, even guys. if you don't wanna, even if you want, but you don't wanna believe. Go out one day. I'm telling you, and in the universe, just ask the universe a question and see yes. if you'll get the answer. The answer back to you. Yes. Just go out there and stand up and be like, universe. I want to see. Um, I want to see, uh, let's see a feather. I want to see a feather today and yeah. just go out, go your business. If you don't yeah. believe me, just go your business. Yes. And then you'll see that feather. Ask the universe anything. Yes. It's great. It's greatness. Greatness. It's great. great. Since we have a team, we're spiritual beings. We're mighty. We yes. don't have to fear anyone. No, and no. if we come to this truth, we can live our heaven here on earth. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be afraid. We don't nothing. have to be afraid. We're but born to be afraid. There is such a low energy thing that it keeps us dumbed down. Yes, we man, have to be feared yeah. of anything, sickness, disease. I nothing. know they talk about hell and whatever. Let me tell you, when you you keep your energy, you can't. You can't you die. Get you, you, knowledge. Yeah, because because um there's a way God have a way of correcting things. That's what karma mm -hmm. comes in. He has a way of doing it. You think God gonna got a fire and burn up his children and this and that and, and go to hell? I know sometimes we see some people do some things and we said, Oh, um, there must be a hell. But these people are divine soul. You think anybody can punish them the way God can punish us? No. He no. knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. And not him punishing us. It's we punishing ourselves for not walking in the right way. Because mm -hmm. the law of the universe, you can't hurt people. You mm -hmm. can't. You're not supposed to kill anything. 
I think all it is is all that you know is stopping our full full our uh, full potential disobedient. Now what's that disobedience sis? How are we disobedient? By not by not doing the things and believing and understanding and getting the knowledge that was given to us. You know, that was there there is so much things on this earth that we are not even we're not using we're not using our inner 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 being. Yeah, but what if someone said, Well, sister Bev, how is it how how will I how would I have known this? I couldn't have known this. I don't hear this in church. I don't mm -hmm. hear this, you know, I don't hear this. I never heard this before, Sister Bev. This is the first time anybody telling me anything like this. That's why we have we have we we're born with we say we say we're born with knowledge, right? Knowledge was given unto us, you know, but we never just never understand it. We never we understood always, it. We, we never always, understand it. Yeah, we never we're just always on the man regime and believe what man says, and we're not listening to our inner our inner voice and oh. speaking to oh, our okay. inner That's mind. It. That's yeah. it, sis. You lick it on the head. You mm -hmm. lick it on the head. We're mm -hmm. not, if we, let me tell you, if you were here and you hear my voice, I'm just going to say it boldly. If you're serving anything outside of yourself, mm -hmm. you 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 run the opportunity of serving other gods. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Because what Christ just showed us, what our soul is, our soul. Mm -hmm. You don't want to say your higher self, our soul. Mm -hmm. Our soul. Our soul is the mm -hmm. part of us that's still connected to our father. And that soul is teaching us and guiding us. And we have ignored it and ignored it mm -hmm. and follow the things of this world instead of mm -hmm. follow the direction mm -hmm. and the leading of our soul that's leading us. Mm -hmm. So when, when Christ said, is is at the father's side interceding for us it's mm -hmm. our true self yes it's ourself going to the our, our father every day interceding for us oh would my you gosh say, you we say our gate understand this yeah would you say our souls are the gateway to 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 to, to this our 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 full uh Knowledge of getting the knowledge at knowledge of who we truly are. Yeah, who we truly are. Yes, our soul is. But remember, we don't just come with our soul. When we came to this earth, we have us. We call them guardian yes. angels. When yes, we say yes. guardian angels, yeah. Are we what still about do? our guardian angels? We still have guardian angel because we have our guardian. We, we come was with created a guardian team. angel. All they of them are guardian angel. Everybody we, have their guardian angel. Everyone came with a guardian angel. Everyone, yes. Not up. Uh, I think it's it's a spiritual team. I it's think a spirit. It is yes, more than spirit. one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and if you and if you listen, if if you if you really listen, to, we talk about it. if you really listen to to certain when you really talk about our guiding angels, so because. When we were kids growing up, you know, grandparents always tell us about God and angels. I'm asking my angels, lest you drop dash angels, your feet against so. the stone. Yeah, angels. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we are powerful beings, but we do but we don't understand the greatness of the power that God have installed into us as from birth. We don't know. Exactly. We're always ruled by men and men tell us what to do. And, you know, they, they, we, we were into this tradition from, from an earlier time until we're now. We're programmed and, into us. Yeah, yeah we're programmed. We're, we're programmed. They program us. Yeah. 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 Programmed yeah. us. So yeah. but, but that's and not going to be any excuse, you no. know. No, that's not going to be an excuse. No. And I'm not just the one. I sent you a, a, a little young man yesterday, too. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, this ministry is not the only ministry you're going to hear. And I said every day, if you find this ministry and you hear this message, you don't have any excuse. Mm -mm. 
because your soul, it's your soul. You'd be like, oh, you think you just stopped here? You think you came here tonight just because, oh, it's YouTube. Let me see what's on YouTube. Your soul sent you here. Mm -hmm. To listen, to learn. To listen and grow because what's coming? Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, I'm yeah. saying it again. Ooh. What's coming? Because this earth is going to grow higher. And you have to grow with the this yes. grow with the heart. There's no excuse. I told you what my my I told you what happened to me in a, in in a dream I had, and when something, and I have to mix up the the, the, the dirt and drink. And when I was drinking, say you know the, and when I was drinking, I give the person something come to the person, and they were like somebody poisoned that person. And the person came to me and I said, you're not going to die like this today. Not today. And I, and I heard like someone was speaking to me. A street was speaking to me and telling me what to do. Get right. the, the dirt. Mix yes. the dirt. Give the person to drink. And when the person drink the, the dirt, they just revive back. And then he said, the hurt is alive. Oh. The hurt is alive. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Everything mm -hmm. is alive. The things we take for granted. Yes. I heard a man says, the nature is God's Bible. You want to understand who God yes. is? Yes. Look at nature. Yes. Yes. Look at nature. I believe that too, sister. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I nature. believe that. Powerful. Yeah. Powerful. 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 Look at never... plant anything, sis. You don't see when it's growing. You never. No. We... we just wake up one morning and we go out there and be like, oh my gosh. Yes. You know, and this Plus, is what this ministry is about. That's and people out there doing some of us came, Bible says, some are called, some are chosen. Yes, some of us came to this chosen. earth to wake you up, to wake you up. Mm -hmm. And we're just planting that seed. My God. And let me tell you, when that seed is planted, just like how I started, you're gonna the universe is just gonna send people. Send people, send people. To bless you. Just to, 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 to continue to water that seed. To continue to water pour that into seed. You, pour into yeah. you. Pour into you. Pour into you. So you can grow. Everything, everything in this universe has to grow. And this is why we talk about the last days. I know people are going to say, you know what, deep ministry, since I was growing up, they say in the last days. This is the last days. Mm-hmm. For man to get it right. This is the last days for this mm -hmm. earth. This is the last days for this earth. The earth, the this is the last days for this earth in this dimension. Purification this earth has to rise. This earth is going to grow. This this earth is getting is growing. Purification. Yeah, this earth's going to purify herself. Mm -hmm. Mother, mother heard purify herself and grow mm -hmm. and go to another dimension. They call it you body could go self with her. You could go with her. Because there's not going to be this, this earth. You're probably going to go somewhere else. If you true, if you don't want to go with her, if you can't vibrate, vibrate, mm -hmm. I know. Because your father probably gonna say, "All right, come home, and I'm gonna send you to another dimension." I'm not <laughs> trying to say I know what God's gonna say, but based on what I'm seeing, you know, I'm gonna send you out to another dimension that you can understand who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is not something you'd be like. You know what? I can't. No, you're gonna have to learn. You have to learn. We have to learn. Knowledge have to increase. And we have to believe. And, and, and that's what the Bible yeah. says. You tell us. Yeah. That's why you tell us, you know, yeah. knowledge have to increase. Your young man going to yeah. dream dreams. Your old man going to have visions. There's yeah. just going to be a divine pouring out. You have to open up yourself to accept. Exactly. You, Christ call it a receptive mind. You have to have that receptive mind. You know? If you take a man out of that little bubble, oh God. Yeah, yeah, we, put, we put God in this tiny little box. Oh mm -hmm. God, don't don't do this. Don't. Wait, he's yeah. mighty. He's this powerful. little little box. God can barely move move in that little box we put him in. You know, 
We have to expand our mind. We have to get out of this earth, uh, this world. Oh my gosh! Really far. We have to see. see. Oh, this this world is so deceptive. So the the goal of the enemy of this earth is is to stop us, and we have to realize it. The oh, enemy, the goal of this earth is is to stop us from realizing oh, who we truly are. From the knowledge, just like Adam and Eve, and all the knowledge was, you know, yeah. If yeah. you look at the beginning, social be the beginning, social be the end. Of course, it is. It's one big circle, sis. Mm -hmm, it's a it's circle. A circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the 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 enemy of this world. So I heard a lady call the enemy of our souls is to keep us in this low vibrational. Mm -hmm. This physical world, the job, the money, the house, the cars, <laughs> in this physical, not being mindful of the spiritual, the you know, the spiritual aspect of who we truly are. This track us from our full potential. Exactly. That's his oh, job. But uh, this track is going on around, you know. He's all all these, these things are distraction because um you they know what's coming, they know their time is up. Because they, where they're gonna go, they can't. They can't leave this earth, and mm -hmm. Mother Earth is rising. You know, so the best thing is the only thing that's gonna stop Mother Earth from not from not rising, is is for her children to stay in a low vibrational state, in a low energy. State. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what the enemy keep us keep us. Oh, black, white, um, Jehovah Witness, Christian, Muslim, um, gay, straight, uh, long hair, short hair. Oh, uh, manager, and this, and, and mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> emphasize how we need to get over the thing, mm -hmm. those kind of stuff, and just love, love one another. Oh, and oh. great gift, you know. Uh, the greatest gift a man could ask God for is love. Love. Because God is love. He said, love thy neighbors as thy son, you know? Yeah, yeah. If we just love each other, man, it will be a beautiful world. I don't oh, know. Oh, of course. I was saying to somebody, I don't see <laughs> I was like, oh, our mankind, they don't even understand the, the gift that God has given to us. This breath. He has loan us. It's so... Ah. Uh, they don't understand the power oh, of oh. God has installed into them because if they really understand the power of just trusting God, the things that they do, they wouldn't have to do it. We just have to be patient and do what the will of God and be obedient. You know, because the Bible said, greater is he, it is in me, that is in the world. The Bible, come yeah. the Bible also said, seek ye first mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And his righteousness, uh -huh. it, 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 reminds, it said, his righteousness. Uh -huh. He just never said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven alone. He uh -huh. said, righteousness. Uh -huh. Everything uh -huh. else shall be added unto you. What is everything else? Ask yourself the questions. Stop being controlled by man. Stop uh -huh. telling you what. What God said, you have to hear what God said. You have to have a relationship with your creator to your father too. He said, you know, he wants you to have a relationship with him. Yes. He wants to speak to you. He wants to use you. He wants to, you know, put you in that, that great place that he, he knows that he made for you. Yes. But yes, we made man put us in this corner and put us down and put fear into our hearts and all these things. God don't want us to fear. He don't want us to fear. He wants us to love each other with an unconditional love. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. He doesn't, our oh, father doesn't like when we struggle. No. You think, no. He doesn't like how we live in, um, in fear and in, in poverty, is children on the street, um, 
these children on the streets without food and, to eat. Yeah, and and in bad marriages, suicidal and yeah. and Don't all that. Really. Our Father doesn't that, that's not who our God is. That's not who our God is. You know, he I heard that, want that for us. Us. A guy was saying I, they were having a ratio of people who committed. This has nothing to do with anything, but you know, sometimes people's life is so miserable and they want to end it. Mm -hmm. And if they don't know the truth, they do stuff and then they come back around. But a guy was saying, most people you see are committing suicide, that they're going to build and they jump off a building and all those. So he said, the moment they jump off that building is the moment they realize, I shouldn't have done this. Yes. I shouldn't have done this. Yes. You understand me? So I'm saying, to, you know, we're saying to anyone tonight, yes. you know, God have created us in his own image. Yes. His word said, we are powerful beings. Mm -hmm. And if I, if my father created everything and I'm his child, mm -hmm. don't think you, my life, my life, my life. You think you make me suffer? No. He's my father. He created all things. Yes. Yes. And and, and that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, we hear how oh, good God is and he wouldn't, but we don't use the tools he's given us. You know, to access all these great things that he promised to us. Because it's not him, it's us. Yeah. No patience. Yeah. No all patience. those things, yeah. All those things that we hear we read in the scripture that's available to us, they're there. Of course. But we we have to come into the knowledge of who we are. Of course. And and how to access these things. You know, as you mentioned earlier, have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. We talk about relationship is every day we go, we pray, and nothing's wrong with this, but we have to listen. We have to hear. We have to hear him speak to us. And we, we, you can't put him in a box that you assume what is gonna, what your life should be or where he's going to lead you or where he's going to guide you. You have to leave everything to him. Oh, we're looking at my sister Beverly's life um, to see that's the way God's going to bless me. No. Mm -mm. You know, those are the little mistakes we make. We, we're giving it to him, but in our mind, and listen, that's how we create our, we create the situations we find ourselves in. The first time I read the Christ letters and it's, and Christ said, we are the creators of, mm -hmm. uh, uh, of our whatever situation we find ourselves in. It's not we the devil. We create it. We create it by our mind. Yes. Because that's, as you mentioned earlier, how powerful we are. We're these, mm -hmm. these powerful beings that mm -hmm. we sit down and we think about um, oh, my head hurt. It must be cancer. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, oh my, oh my husband's gonna leave me. Oh, my children not gonna end up right. Mm -hmm. We and and the universe. We talk about it's gonna give you what you want. You know, so change your thinking, change your consciousness. You know, change the way you think. Whatever you don't want, don't let it come into your mind. You know, I, I was sharing with Minister Patawa. I heard this lady said, listen, if you resist it, if you whatever you resist in your mind, it will persist. So mm -hmm. what you do, you welcome that thought. Okay, you thought talking about um sickness, welcome up, welcome that thought and bless it. I bless you, sickness thought. I bless you. Every time it comes, bless it. Don't keep resisting it. It will mm -hmm. keep coming. If that spirit of lack coming in your mind, no, I bless you, lack. I bless you with, with, and feel it, not just with words. I bless you, lack. Bless it. 
these are just um things floating in the atmosphere. Bless it. Mm. You know? So these are the things um that we we in spite of we go to church, in spite of we say we believe our mind. And we talk every day um, about the power of our mind. Just keep going, going. That's why you have to meditate to try and keep this mind focused on God. Because we have to be able to hear our higher self, our soul that is still con connected to our father. You have to hear our father guiding us. You call it your soul, your spirit, whatever you want to call it, you know. And we have to hear um the 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 guardian angels leaving us <laughs> you know we have a guide we this this time we're in is self work this is a time we're in where we have to work on self true yeah it's all self work right now you have to be selfish because it's so important <laughs> to recognize Mm. And uh, and follow the direction mm. of our father. It is. And that's why we're rebellious because he's speaking to us. He's sending us impulses. He's sending us messages. And because of our awareness, because, oh no, no. You know, it doesn't fit in our in our lifestyle. It doesn't fit in what we think. It doesn't fit in what the world says God is or what should happen. Oh no, that's the devil. Oh no, you know. That's why we're rebellious. That's why we're disobedient. You know, we have the power in our mind to create our blessings. Can we mm. get up every day and and just imagine that beautiful house? If we create these this life of luck. That we're in it. we can create this life of abundance that we want. Amen. Amen. Mm? Amen. We can create that job we want, that car we want, that house we want. Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna get up every day, just like how we have in our thought what this we put our abundance, we feel it, we we live it because we're putting it in our mind and in our heart. The two things have to go together, our mind and our heart, for Amen. these things to manifest in the in the physical realm. Because mm -hmm. we have we can do that. That's our free will. That's the things we do. And if we do it, the universe is gonna be like, okay, okay, deep ministry, okay. And eventually. Don't think you're going to get that hundred dollars. You don't know how it's going to come, but you don't care. But you just got to open up to the possibility of how it's going to come. I don't care how it's going to happen. I just know it's going to happen. You want healing? Oh, I see that leg, that leg, it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to heal. I don't know. And and that's where I choose. Str I struggle too, because just, just, if your leg hurt, you ask for healing, but yet you still go take that pill. We don't understand. We don't even know how. You know, we 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 can't even fathom that God has different ways of doing things, and that's what I struggle with every day. And when I know this, when I truly, truly, truly leave it to God, leave it. When you truly and sincerely leave it. With no thought of outcome or how it's going to be done. That's when God moves in our life. That's when everything moves in our lives. The thoughts are very powerful too. Thoughts are very powerful. Thoughts are words. Mm -hmm. Thoughts are words. Your thoughts are very, very powerful. And we have to stop. We have to start, we have to do, start doing one thing that's best for us. Yes. We have to stop listening to what our, 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 but, 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 our, you know, like, listen to what man is saying. They're putting you, telling you the things that, put, you know, you are, you are no good. You are this, you are that. You must always, always remember one thing. Our father is kings of all kings and lord of all lords. He's the great I am. He yes. created 
created everything that we are enjoying today. Man didn't create, give man the knowledge to do certain things. But without him, there is nothing. So people keep on saying to you, oh, this is where you belongs." No. There's a great set of things inside of you than what man wants you to believe. Yes. You are great. You are powerful. You can do all things to Christ who strengthened you. When I stop listening to the, what people think about me, that's yes. the time I start to recognize of who I really am. Yes. That's yes. the time I start getting to know me. That's the time I start getting to love me. Yes. That's the time I start to get to understand that I am I am more than what they are saying that I am. Oh, go to school, get this job. No, I am more than that. Yes. I am more than just going to school, have a job, coming every day, nine to five, and that's it. No, there's a bigger part of me, a part of me to go out there, to tell people, to love people, to show people that, you know, greatness, we, we, are, we, 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 are, we are a product of God. And if we are a product of God, that means that we are, there's so much promises that he promised us. There is so much things that he said, you know, if you just seek me, seek me, you will find me. Not kind of door, door shall be open. Go out there with an with a open mind. Stop putting your mind, close your mind. Oh, I'm, this, this is not, it's never going to happen to me. Yes, it will happen to you and better than that too. I would never be this person. No, you are already. We have to start saying this thing, but I would never do that. I, I would never do this. I would never, I would never be this person. You are who God said you are. Yes. You are smart. You are love. Yeah. You are beautiful. Yeah. We have to start claims in all these things that people say we are not. And God said we are. <laughs> Whose words will, will report to you? Whose oh, report you will receive? You know, Who's people, <laughs> people, people are God. Um, yeah. Who, who, who are you? Why listen? Who are you so that you should tell me who I am? Who yeah. are you? You know, pick the beam out of your eye before you could pick it out of mine. You know? And that we're finding our, our young people, they're not loving themselves anymore. Because they have the social media telling them that you're not beautiful because you don't have this. No, I am. I was, you were born beautiful. Yes. There is no one like you. You are perfect. There was no one that God created like you. That means you must be something special. Yes. Yes. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's, it's that time now. Yes. And and that's why marriages fail. Oh, my God. You know, because we're expecting our partner, oh whether a man oh my God. or a woman, that's, in, that's not even capable to love us the ah. way we think we should be loved. All right. The first thing we should we should love ourselves. Of course. And since as a married person, it takes Ooh. me a while to understand this. My God. When you love yourself, it doesn't matter who or what. They just have to come and join you. Because the confidence you have. Mm -mm. You know, nothing. You, I am beautiful. I deserve the best. Of course. You know, I, and when you I, walk with that attitude. Mm -hmm. No, but we, we, we could grow up in a society where we mm -hmm. think, oh, our, our, our spouse, our partner should tell us, should love us the way we want. And when they don't, then we get depressed. Then our marriage starts failing right. and everything. All no, start, all right. Start yourself. But he can't love you if you don't love yourself. Uh -huh. But sisters, too, listen to this. How can I give you something that I've never gotten? Exactly. How can I do something that I don't know anything about? 
Exactly. So you know, these guys, they have never, their parents have never said, I love you. Exactly. They never come from this family that is so close. The right. thing that when they come in your family, they get jealous when they see certain things because they don't understand it. Yes. Yeah, you ex exactly. You're expecting <laughs> somebody to give you something that they know they nothing. Get. They never and get. They never you get. You have to teach them how to love you. Exactly. Teach them about you because sometimes we run into these marriages and we don't ask God if this is the right person for us. We just see the person and we fall in love and that is it. No. That's when, when one time before you could get married, they take you to the pastor and the pastor would counsel you about the, the marriage and what the things that you like and the things that you don't like about this person. Because by right, we run into these marriages and we don't even know nothing. We don't check out the man background. We don't check out the generation, nothing. We just run into marriage and get married. And then the marriage started to fail. We are saying, oh my gosh, this is not the right person for me. It's the uh, are we to blame the devil? And we <laughs> blame are we the devil, the devil God. <laughs> yeah, we blame the devil and we blame voodoo. And, oh, and oh, we don't voodoo. understand. Uh, and another thing I was telling my husband too, we don't understand the role of a, a, ma a man and a woman. Mm -mm. And we, and because when you really understand that masculine, I'm mm. going to say masculine and feminine energy mm -hmm. is part of creation. And the role of feminine, only in this realm, feminine is probably, we call it, in a physical, it's a woman. But mm -hmm. the role of this feminine um, energy is to create an right. um, atmosphere of yes. love and yes. family. yes. You know, and support each other. Not just to clean the house, uh, not just to, to wait on your husband. No, not just that way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, we 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 provide the environment because just like it's uh, let me just like when um when we get pregnant, we provide the, the environment for the the baby to to come in the womb and support and grow. The father just bring the seed in and it's like we have the oven. It's that's so that's what feminine in it feminine is. The mother is the creator of all the mother is the creator. Yeah, so so that's that's who we are. And the men are the protectors. Yes. Well we get it all and wrong. The, yeah the men are the protectors. No, no, we it's shouldn't be trying. Now. Yeah, we shouldn't be trying to um go in the man's shoes, and the men shouldn't be trying mm -hmm. to come into our shoes. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so you know what? I know the next generation will get it. So mm -hmm. that's that imbalance. That's why they're smarter that, than us. Yeah, that's that <laughs> imbalance that's causing you know marriages. Marriages, so we, we expect too much, and we don't do our, yes. we don't play our part because we, 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 too, we grew up, and this has to do with our culture. Oh, we must this to our husband, this and that, and you know, don't tell us the true things of what we really should do. You know, don't tell us how we should be a wife, not just in cooking and cleaning and washing clothes. You know. And men come in and they think they should run the house uh, uh, and go out and work and run the house also and come in and wait on hands and foot. No. Because the man, you see, <laughs> uh, in generations before, when man used to be, you know, the protector, the provider, bringing in the bread and the woman still want taking the care of the kids. Now, society is... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, society has changed. The woman has to be mm. out there. Now the um, woman is the, the breadwinner. She's a protector. She's a provider. Yeah. And the man just... Are the one who just sits there waiting on the woman to do all these things. But yet they want to have the role of a man, but they don't want to play the role of a man no more. Exactly. 
Yeah. And, and oh. no, none of us can play our role properly. No. You know? No, but no. And, and this is why all this has to happen. That's why the earth has to ascend because yes. everything is yeah. out, of, is out yeah. of balance. God is a God of divine order. And if things not growing, things not, the, it's not growing. All this technology that's not growth, everything has to grow spiritually. You know, if the there's there the, there's everything we do, there's an energy that comes from it. We might see sit, sit here arguing with our husband, and you think the earth doesn't know. You might say, deep ministry, the earth doesn't know that there's a high rate of divorce, that there's a high rate. The yeah, it does because there's an energy that comes from everything we do and the earth absorb it. So the, it, and that's how in this earth knows that things are out of balance. If things were in balance, um, um, she wouldn't have, she wouldn't be in this place for such a long time. The earth is alive and and she's receiving all the imbalance and negativity and low energy things that we, that comes from us. All right. All right, let's continue. All right, some people climb out of deep holes of disadvantages, depression and despair and achieve high position of trust and respect wielding much influence over others and some people fall from dizzy heights of advantage wealth opportunity and talents into black holes of despair and depression drug taking murder rape and whatever nevertheless for all that you have each made or not made of your opportunities or your lack of them you all remain fundamentally and basically of the same beingness and potential. So he's just saying, in spite of what we discussed earlier, in spite of our depression, in spite of our long, lack, in spite of all that, we still come. It doesn't change who we truly are. Amen. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. We mm -hmm. still have the potential to get up any day and be the best of ourselves. Of course. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't change who we are. So let's let's try not to stay mm -hmm. in that place. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not feeling good today, tomorrow's another day. You are all able to rise up little by little from whatever spiritual level of consciousness you presently occupy in the heights of divine consciousness within the celestial kingdoms. As you accept these letters as being the truth of existence and seek daily to live the guidelines which will bring each of you into harmony and contact with that which gave you being. Let me see where contact with that which gave you being. You will surely move towards and achieve the highest spiritual goals you have set yourself at this present time. Yeah. We are all able to rise up little by little. Wherever, and it's talking about consciousness consciousness and we're in the place we're at because too of the level of consciousness we just talk about who we truly are if you don't know who you are i say prepared live stream but if you don't know who you truly are then that's why you're in this level of despair mm -hmm. You know, and whatever, wherever we find ourselves, if you listen to us tonight, wherever you find yourself, we have the potential to raise our consciousness. Raise, this is what everything is about. This is what this channel is about. 
come to the knowledge of who you are. You're yes. not just you're not just this flesh. You're not you, this flesh can't do nothing. <laughs> nothing. You are spiritual beings. Special. Spiritual <laughs> beings. That's what Christ tried to tell us. You know, that's what Christ tried to tell us. And it says, um, you are all able to rise up little by little from whatever spiritual level of consciousness you presently occupy in the heights of divine consciousness within the celestial kingdoms. As you accept these letters as being the truth of existence and seek daily to live the guidelines which will bring each of you into harmony and contact with that which gave you being. You know, this is it. We have to come in contact with that which gave you being. You will surely move towards and achieve the highest spiritual goals you have set yourself at this present time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have to do the work so we can come intact with yeah. our Father, mm -hmm. with our higher self. This is the time we work on ourselves. Mm -hmm. This time is time it. Time time. I can't hear you, sis. It's time for uh, loving ourselves. Yes, yeah. and understand who you truly are. Yeah. <laughs> who you truly are. There's an aspect of us that moves on when this flesh goes into the dirt. Yes. There's an aspect of us that our Father keeps sending you direction every day. Go here, do this, get to get you out of this place you find yourself. You know? That's raising your consciousness. Understand who you truly are. Yes. So walk away sometime just to save your Sometimes we we don't understand. We want to play catch up, and we want to think that because we're oh we are chosen, we're a child of God, we are this. We don't have issues like people, but we do have issues like other people. You understand? But the only thing about it is we know that you know we know what the the Word of God give us uh understanding. Because sometimes when things come, you know, things come in our mind, we have to just rebuke it. We have to pray about it. We have to say, God, you are my head of my life. You are my leader. You are my protector. You are my deliverer. You are my guidance. I trust. I fear nothing. I only trust you. Sometimes we know these things to say, but we are also... Human, we also go through stuff sometimes that bothers our mind, and we get sad sometimes. Yeah, you know, sad sometimes because we are in the flesh. We're in the flesh too, but you know, in our spiritual mind, we are we are more secure. We are more happy. We are more, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's and that's why. That's what vibration is. Sometimes your vibrational energy is. Sometimes you're at a higher level and sometimes yes. you come down. Yes. You know, when you're when you're trusting God, when you're believing for everything, when you're meditating, when you're rising above um the things that want to pull you down, you mm -hmm. just and sometimes you when when they try to pull you down, you come right down. Yes, you know, yes. but the good the good thing is, you don't we don't that. stay there. We start mm. again. All right. You know, we start right. rise again. That's why it means raising your energy, yes. raising your vibration. You know, raise your consciousness, and this is what the earth is doing. So we have to. We we don't have a choice, and that's why I'm gonna keep saying we don't have a choice. Else, you have to leave. Eat. If you don't raise your energy and in spite of what, and that's what I'm saying, no one has the power, nobody on, and God wouldn't, um, accept, I was, I was going to say, except God, no one should 
bring you down in such a low vibration mm -hmm. because it's life and death. <laughs> you know, it's life wow. and death. You have to raise your, your energy. So we have to fight and we have the team. We have our, 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 our God angels. We have our father. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, our higher self to help us. We have to call on our team now because when we when it's hard for us when it's hard for us we have to call on them to help us mm -hmm. because we have to stay in that place you know the things that used to get us out of ourselves we have to raise above it because nobody doesn't deserve to um pull us out of out yeah. of our blessing it's like they're ta they're taking our life when they try to be the pillar we can't allow that to happen it's we reach a point where it is so important. And if we read the Bible, that's all what Christ did tell us. I I say to you, vibrate I. Paul said to you, say love one another. Whatever things are good, whatever things are mm -hmm. true, the fruits of the spirit, you know, that's that's help that's the things that help you to vibrate at a different level, to vibrate higher, to keep your energy high. Amen. You know, I'm and Always remember, we must always remember, sometimes the people that we think uh, we give so much to are the ones who, you know, we're just speaking in a, a, a hurtly form. Sometimes the people who we give so much to is the person who, when we truly need them, they are not there for us. So uh, we yeah, have, that's okay. Yeah. yeah that's we, okay. Yeah. yeah, because when we and that's what and that's what God Christ is all about. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't do good stuff for a people, so when nope. we need them, they'll be there. No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. We don't. We do give you something that when I need it, you could give it to me back. Nope. No, no, no. But that's okay. There's nobody that can affect. This is all you. Yes. This is all you. You can't. I can't depend on not even my children. Nope, nope, no, nope. it's all nope. this is the point we reach where it's all us. Yeah. It's your decision right now is to is to uh raise your, your consciousness. Yes. Be aware of who you are and vibrate, yes. raise your energy. You yeah, know? the knowledge increase in you yeah. that when things happen, you don't easily to, to, to give up. Sometimes as human, we are so easy to give up and we are all, all, yeah. so much, all I cannot take this no more, but we have to understand one thing. Me, myself, to do it sometimes. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not saying anybody talk about me, myself, sometimes when uh, things get so, you know, I get so it's emotional. Fair. I'm so emotional. Yeah. I'm so emotional sometimes and when I say I'm doing something and it's like nobody's there to back me up, I, I, I get very emotional and I, I said man why why me why this but then i realized why not me yeah why not me maybe yeah. I, in this position i'm the only one who's seeing what's happening because maybe i'm seeing through a spiritual eyes and a person is not seen to us they are seen through a hurtly eyes and i'm seeing eyes, through yeah. a spiritual eyes. And, and 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 that's the thing about when you raise your energy that i didn't talk about when you raise your energy it's it affects everybody. That's the thing when you raise your vibrational energy. People around it cannot; they have to change anywhere you go. When anywhere you go, people are gonna feel that energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People are gonna yeah. feel that energy anywhere you go. Yeah. They're gonna feel that energy. And it's up when, and that's what it means by becoming conscious. Because mm -hmm. when, when people, you have to understand when, when, when people come to you and try to bring you down, they see something in you yes. that's not in them. Yes. So sometimes it's just a projection. Yes. You know, and they don't know how to deal with it. Your your boss picking up picking on you, your your co-worker picking on you because oh they don't God. understand it. <laughs> they don't understand this good energy that that making them feel weird. And it's you, it's imperative <laughs> that you stay where you are because that's how you're gonna help them change. 
-hmm. you know it's imperative that you stay in your high vibration and don't yes. and it's not easy I t it's not easy that you stay where you are and don't come down um to their level they're not worth it no they're not worth it you stay where you are let them come up to where pull you them. are pull yeah. them pull them you know pull them yeah pull them up to you pull them up to you pull them up yeah pull them up pull them up come, come taste because and see is... that this is good you yes come. come and taste and see that yes. this is good yes, yes. pull them up to you you know yes. you're, you're, you're anyone in your household they have to come up here you know they have to i'm not coming down there with you no more I'm done with that. You have to come up where I am. You know? High vibration. That's my daughter, Bran, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. High vibration. I know. That's her, I know. <laughs> that's, that's the young people. You, you, we have to. Yeah. We have to. And, and we have to, because the first thing, you know, we're going to think, oh, they're coming against me because I'm black, I'm a woman. No, no, and no. They say, mm -hmm. No, just the thoughts we get to bring mm -hmm. us down in as a defense mechanism. That's what we normally use to come mm -hmm. back at people when they come at because we're trying to stand up for ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. that's what we call it. But Not listen. No more because I'm black no more. No, because those are just divisive things. Because don't, they want to be like me, that's why. <laughs> exactly. That energy is pulling that, that low vibrational energy for them to come higher, but they don't know how to No, to, they don't. No, understand. they don't they don't understand like, oh do what what's happening? Something about Sister Bell is just pulling me at, you know, the and the you know, the, the flesh is like resistant. And the only thing they know, that's the only thing they know, is to be resentful, is to be yeah. hateful. And, 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 and this is where we're at. Why are you so happy? Why are you so, hey, come into work. Why are you so happy? Why are you always laughing? Why are you always so jolly? Why are you always this? When, yeah. Anytime I come to work and I, I'm, not, I'm not talking, everybody knows something is off. Because they used to me coming to work every day with a smile and, Oh, this is a good, today's a good day. And the Lord is going to give us a good day today. Today's going to be a good, I energize the job. So when I come in, I always come with that, with that energy. So they see me stop talking. They say, no, mm -mm, this is not her. Something is not right. But I tell them sometimes, I just want to stay in medical meditation where it's nothing to do with you sometimes. Let me meditate. Because I'm, I, 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 I find myself Blocking out stuff that is not, you know, that is not. If you're saying something I don't want to hear it, I try to block it away. And I find myself going in this place where I try to, you know, don't go in the negative side, but stay in the positive side and try to get myself focused. When I want to be focused, you can't make me unfocused. I will stay there and sit and I just block myself out of everything that's going on around me. And I'm listening to my inner self. I'm using yes. my inner man to guide me now. Yes. So yes. Flesh, I'm blocking out all that's going on. The flesh talk, the base talk. And I'm using my inner man yes. to guide me now. Yeah. You know, to teach me to listen to my inner self. Yeah. How do you do that? It, it just come natural. Because yeah. we could do it for a while, it just become natural. You're sitting there and people talking around you, and the conversation, they're having a conversation. I don't hear nothing that they're saying. Yeah, because um, your soul is not interested yeah, in so that kind yes. of thing anymore. Yeah. 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 Your and soul is you not interested. Your in, in your subconsciousness, I hear thinking about something flowing good. And, you know, they ask, so did, no, what did I, nope. I didn't hear it just a while ago. You didn't hear, nope. Because I was nowhere. So nowadays we have to find ourselves going that meditation world. That yeah. subconscious mind. Yeah. That 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 inner self that yeah. we can, you know, because there'll be it all be it's gonna come to a time yeah. and, and that's when the we contact, start blocking out yeah. Contact with our father, yeah. Yes, yes. we have to gonna have to learn to hear his voice because mm -hmm. we're gonna be like, Father, what is this? We're gonna see some things that nobody can explain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the time. And he's going to tell us he's going to be okay. Yeah, he's going to be okay. He's going to, 
it's gonna basically say it's gonna be okay. You'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Time... And so, so you don't end up because one thing the Bible says that even the elect gonna be fooled. Be fooled. So if we don't want to be fooled, we have to make sure we're listening to the Father's voice. That is why nowadays I I I think I find myself not believing a lot of stuff nowadays. A lot of stuff I'm just oh. switching. You know, I say you switch through it, you switch through it, it like I say. I think it's yeah. a fine, a fine one. And yeah, that's why I find uh, myself. There's nowadays. so you're many deceptions. Sipping through, sipping through what's not right from so what's wrong. Much deception. I don't so believe nothing, sisters. Believe me, they so could be talking, much deception. You know, like, Is that true? I don't believe that. I don't it's quick to so believe. I know no. it's 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 sad. It's sad that we just gravity. People just love to gravitate to everything. You cannot gravitate to everything nowadays because we are in a perilous times right now. And you're gonna people believe in the truth than the lie nowadays. And it's sad. It's not yeah. good for us to do that though. Yeah, it's true. You know, and, that is and, bad. And, and then we had a tricky point too, because we can't we we what they'll what the enemy will do, it'll mix the truth with yes. the lie. Yes. It's, it'll mix the truth with the lie. So you have to be so careful that you'll miss the truth and you know what the lie is. Oh, you know? God. That's the time. Now you understand. Now you understand what the Bible means when it said, uh in the last days. We're going to see some things and we're still not going to understand what we're seeing. We're going to hear some things. We still not understand what we are hearing. But whose report will you believe? Exactly. Yeah. And nowadays, I tell you, sometimes I see some, sometimes some things, sometimes some things play back. Some. Sister, we have to be very, 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 very careful. Because I tell you, I see... Sometimes people do stuff, but they don't understand. It doesn't come right back to you at the same time when you're doing it. But it takes time gradually and come and come back around, around and around. Yeah, and around. Uh, yeah uh, well, that's what but karma is. Expected. That's what we karma is. We cannot think that nothing that happened to people can happen to us. We can't say, oh, that would never happen to me. We don't know. We don't know. I cannot be walking on the street and I fell and broke up. Oh, that could never happen um, to me. And then when it happened, same thing happened. As I said, so when things happen, we have to be our brother's keeper. You understand me? We have to show the love. We have to show the the, 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 the compassion. And I realize that when something yeah. happened, what I'm saying, people are not showing that much compassion anymore. It's yeah, like, but 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 it's a um, love, it's a compassion. That, yeah, that but we have to be careful too because sometimes we get so deep because I see the enemy oh, using using God, an, another things. Um, C A the big C A the big C, um, mm -hmm. because they want energy from it because mm -hmm. people are finding out different ways to heal it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes. You have to be care, and this is why you have to have that personal relationship. Yes. Because they want that energy that comes from that negative sickness yes. that's been running, yes. running yes. this earth so long. So when you yes. hear somebody say, "Oh, especially people you don't know, especially people on the TV," say, "Oh, so and so I've seen a, you know, so I don't like to give anything." That's a any man. Energy. That's a not. <laughs> That's flu. yeah. Somebody, so I saw flu. You uh, you empathize, but don't 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 put it in your mind. Like don't mm -hmm. put yourself in it. In it, you empathize, or uh, instead of sympathize, when you sympathize, you like throw yourself in there. You yeah. give them empathy. Yeah, empathy. Yes, but that's yeah, you, you give them empathy and be like, mm -hmm. oh, I, I'm sorry, but don't put all yourself and and wondering what it would be like if I am. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because we our thoughts create, you know, when mm -hmm. our emotions and our thoughts come together. Oh my God, it will create that for you. <laughs> so this is this is a this is a thin line that you have to work. Yeah. Where or uh, that you have to tread. Tread lightly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Tread lightly. Exactly. <laughs> Tread lightly. Tread lightly because oh the enemy, God. we have to be aware that there's an enemy of our soul that's going to keep us in this mm -hmm. low energy, low vibrational place. Mm -hmm. That's how they create the world that they want. That's how they create this mm -hmm. world. This low we energy are, world, we this these world where we're hustling and right bustling to make a dollar. Uh -uh, yeah. uh -uh, no. Yeah, some uh, people have it and they just waste it like nothing. Yeah, but listen, they can waste it if they want because in the end, it's not going to matter. <laughs> when a man said, oh, say, at least you have your, your man say, you enjoy your world now. My world is coming for me to enjoy, don't worry. <laughs> They can enjoy mm -hmm. because guess what? In the end, all that not your guns. I I was yeah. thinking to then you stockpiling guns and all that. Those things not gonna be ma don't matter. Not it's gonna help you. No. It's not gonna help you when you when the right time comes. It's not gonna help you. No. Nope. Right. Okay, I'm gonna read this last Ooh, paragraph. And we're gonna close. He says, "You can all rise to the point where you fully accept the truth." Mm -hmm. Work to pur purify your personal consciousness in order to absorb divine consciousness and become individuals filled with and radiating the power of divine consciousness in your immediate surroundings and eventually throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And when you see divine consciousness, he's talking about the Father. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord, tonight for your understanding. Yeah, he's talking. Father, when you see divine consciousness, I'm going to read it again. He said, you can all rise to the point where you fully accept the truth. Mm -hmm. Work to purify your personal consciousness in order to absorb your divine consciousness so you have your personal consciousness we talk about tonight your your um, understanding who you are understanding the truth about our existence understand all that we talk about tonight so you have to purify your personal consciousness mm -hmm. um i heard someone call it you have to be born again because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because yeah, we born again. You'd be like, oh, I'm born again. But um, some of the things that we were taught growing up, we have to pure. This is what it means by purifying your personal consciousness. Um, some of the traditions, some of the the things that that we were taught, um, of this world and and men to keep us in a low vibrational state. That's why you, it means to purify your personal consciousness. This, I'm going to say this again, this is a time, it's your personal walk with God. Understand that God lives within you and he's talk, communicating with you every day. Uh -huh. Not the God, but the aspect of God, your higher self, your true self, your soul. Your guides, you have guides that will help you call on them. That's where you purify your personal consciousness. Um, do you know what scripture coming to me um, with the, about this? You can throw clean wine into old wine skin. Mm, 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 mm. So you all these traditions and church things and and cultural things. Um, that we learned growing up. This is the time where you have to go through yourself and be like, oh, really? This is what this is? This is what this is? And take it out. Throw out the old stuff. So the, that and so you can be ready to in um absorb the divine consciousness. Yes, yes. The God divine conscious means the God consciousness coming in, coming in and make you over. Mm -hmm. This is the time we're in. Yeah. And it says, um, in order for it to absorb that divine com consciousness and become individuals filled with and with and radiating the power of the divine consciousness in your immediate surroundings 
and eventually throughout the world. And that's what um sister, we and Sister Bev just talk about, that when you, this divine consciousness, it flows in your household. Mm. It flows in your household, this knowledge. This mm. knowledge flows. It, I don't, I can't tell you this energy flows through your household. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Powerful. Mm -hmm. I think I read something that it goes 22 feet. Wow. Yeah, 22 wow. feet. And 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 you know that scripture where the Bible says where two or three yes. are gathered together? Because touching in the, in, in the... No, one chase a thousand, two put 10,000 to flight, something like that. One chase a thousand, two put 10,000 to flight. This and just remain just imagine say five or six person um come together that oh it, yeah oh my god yes I was saying the gates, of, like the gates of hell cannot prevail mm -hmm. the gates of hell cannot prevail I was just saying something to somebody yeah say, I, say I said. three four five six of us come together yeah. and and in on one accord oh my gosh. I, I, I Every, and that's what Paul and them says. Mm -hmm. All healing. I think people used to just took, take home something and uh, uh, let Paul bless it and take it home and their mm -hmm. family members be healed. Yeah, Paul was a very powerful disciple. Yeah, powerful. because it's this same knowledge. Yeah. It's the same thing they're trying to tell us. Christ, this is what this is what Christ tried to preach when he was on earth. Mm -hmm. That's why he was crucified. And you lock, when you lock up Paul and take Paul and carry him and put him in, in prison. That's why all of them <laughs> went through this. Prison could have wall, Paul. Prison could have wall, Paul. And now you understand. You now you understand why the enemy of our soul don't want this knowledge to come forward. Don't want us to understand this. They rather keep us in the building. They rather keep us in the building. And you go to church every day. You sing songs. Yes. That helps us get here. Mm -hmm. It's not wrong, and it's not. And if your soul not ready to 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 become conscious and become a vibrate higher, that's fine. But I'm talking about those that ready for this. And if and if somehow you're listening to me, I can say for sure, your higher self brought you right here. I mm -hmm. uh, brought you to hear this message. Are brought to you to listen to this message at a later time. So your higher self is ready, but you have to be ready in your physical self. Your spirit mm -hmm. man is ready, so you you have to get ready in your physical self. This mm -hmm. is all this is about. So um, I can say if anybody listening to me and hearing me, not that well, we grow up in church, not that it was a bad thing. It was to help us to get here. Yes, amen. It was to help us to get here. We're going forward. It's all spirituality. All spirituality. All spirituality. All right. This is the, our last paragraph tonight. This is so good. It mm -hmm. says, you are all important within your immediate environment. And, and that's the reason why you're hearing this message tonight. Because you probably came to this earth for this exact purpose. And you're looking that you have to go outside, outside and do things. No, you just have to stay where you are and become divine consciousness and raise your vibration. And you mm -hmm. affect your household, you affect your community, anywhere mm -hmm. you walk, anywhere you go, you affect somebody. That's how that's how people gonna say, come and glorify your father when they feel your presence. It says the parent who feels that all that is done for the family is not appreciated, who feels that he she does not make an impact on family life is never heard, respected, loved, who feels that outside the home or in the workplace, he, she is of no consequence and will not be missed, is lacking insight. Such a person, be they male, female, father, mother, friend, worker, employer, all make an impact on their environment. 
if they were removed from it, there would be a hole in the fabric of the environment. There would be loss and it would take time for that gap to be filled, filled in with the arrival of someone else and by new activities of those left behind. And this is what um, depression does to other people, to people. You know, they make, they think, oh, if I kill myself, everybody will be better off. You know, if I, if nobody will miss me. And this is what Christ say, no, everybody's, you're important. Everybody's mm -hmm. important to their environment. A void is left by the biggest power and voice. Door of good or the most menial worker sweeping the floor or garden paths. Everybody is important. Each one inhabits a special place in the whole environment. Each one brings their own talent, their own character, their own way of doing things, their own impact on the people they speak to, to the place where they live or work. They are vital in their own niche. And it says, no one can rob a person of their importance except the person himself by his denial of his value. Yeah, that's what Sister Bev talked about. This is exactly where we're going to leave it. Um, leave it tonight. And it says, no one can rob a person of their importance except the person himself by his denial of his value. Mm -hmm. So if you tonight hear this and you think you're not, important you are robbing your you're robbing yourself of your importance you are the one who's denying it denying it so um so this is it tonight this is where we're going to leave everything um and we just want to remind everyone tonight remind everyone tonight um, the importance of raising your vibration, um, vibrational energy. And if you're here for the first time, please visit Deep Ministry. Please read the Christ Letters. They're available on YouTube and the PDF version online or on Deep Ministries. And you'll see everything. There's a lot of stuff there on vibrational energy and raising your consciousness. The Christ Letters from the beginning talking about, talking about Raising your consciousness, being aware, being aware of who you are, having the knowledge of who you are. And I'm going to leave this right here. It says work to purify your personal consciousness in order to absorb your divine consciousness. And as I mentioned earlier, you our culture, our religion, and things the world put in our thoughts. We have to work on that, purify our personal consciousness. And consciousness being things you're aware of, your mind, personal, your thoughts. That's what consciousness is. Purify those, purify them, get rid of them. Um, you know, you have to be born again in that aspect where you 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 get you you're no longer but um tied to tradition you know that's what being born again um because you have to be um tied to spirituality total spirituality you're in the flesh but you got you're not of the flesh you're of the spirit and that's where you're gonna have to be it's it's there's it's no choice because that's where the earth is gonna be and that's where you have to be have to have to have to all right so this is it for tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to thank you, Father, for your presence with us tonight. Yes, I sure. thank you, Father, for those who heard this message and those who will be hearing it at a later time. I thank you for my sister and my sisters who joined me earlier when I was having technical difficulties. I thank you for them, Lord, just by their presence God, I know they are chosen for this time 
and this place, Lord. And 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 I'm thankful for all the minds and and hearts that's going to hear this message, Lord. That they too may know that it's a calling for their soul to raise their consciousness. And Father, we pray for strength always. Father, of ourselves, we can't do nothing. So we thank you for your direction and your guidance. We thank you for the spiritual beings who work on our behalf daily. Father, sometimes we ignore them because we don't know of them. But Father, we always pray for your direction and your guide. So we thank you tonight. Bless our homes, bless our families, and our and our earth on a larger scale also. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for providing for those who doesn't have tonight, Lord God. We thank you, Father, and we leave ourselves in your hands. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 All right, sis. God bless, sister. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thank you for joining me. As you thank just. you. Always yes. to, to be here. <laughs> and if anybody joins us on on YouTube tonight, girl, my live stream wouldn't work. I couldn't get on Facebook. I know I was on it, and I have to come up and wait and come back again, again. I, I don't know. It could. It wouldn't work, but I thank God that yeah. here we are tonight. And thank you for joining. And thank you. Blessing, sister. Blessing. God bless. God bless. God bless.